was popping, G. That actually hurt a little bit. You know when you go outside and then your hands turn brittle? Like, bony? Well, there is bone in my hands. Can you imagine if there wasn't? Just absolutely Play-Doh for limbs. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a day in my life. Yes, I got a haircut. You gonna roast me about it? What? My mom likes to see around my ears. See you bright and early. Good night. Have a great night. You don't actually have to go to sleep. It's just me that's going to sleep. You can still stay awake, but I'm but I'm the one who's going to bed. I am going to bed, so I will. It will be tomorrow when you see me next. Oh, how good was that transition? Look at this trek I get to make every morning. I just get to go down these steps. I feel so royal, like I'm descending. Hello. Ah, oh, yes. Are you waiting for me? Thank you. I just realized I don't have any milk. Just some tortillas. One package of street tortilla. I do have some water. I'm not that desperate. We are not putting cereal in water, guys. On a normal day, I don't drink that much water. But I've heard that you should because like your body's made up of it or whatever. I really want this cereal, so we're going to the bodega. Let's move on over there. Walk into the bodega. You know, I didn't know what a bodega was when I first came here. I thought it was a clothing brand. Everyone kept saying it. I was like, God, who is this bodega? They must be very good. They're on every street corner. Located. Have I been spelling it wrong my whole life? 340 for an avocado? That's not even the worst part. You want to know what the real crime is here? This butter costing $8. Package secured. Now we can eat all the cereal that we want. I don't want you to underestimate how much cereal I eat because it's like a main component of my diet. Breakfast, cereal, lunch, cereal, dinner. I'll have another bowl of cereal if the milk's still there, but maybe like uh, instead of eating on my piano bench, I'll eat on the floor. I enjoy not having a table to eat on in my apartment because it just forces me to eat on random things. Yesterday I was eating a PB&J on my piano. Piano PB&J. Have you ever thought about starting a restaurant? Because I just did, just now. A piano bar that serves strictly PB&Js. I'm not sure what kind of clientele is gonna be coming in there for like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, also to hear jazz music, but I feel like there's a specific type of person who would be super interested in that. For example, me. God, and it could be so vibey. We could make everyone wear suits. Oh my God, suit and tie? <laughs> and you get served to Smucker's Uncrustable. Hey man, who do you work for? Just a few quick questions, just a quick interview. Would you mind? Found this little restaurant called the Afternoon. You think they're open before noon? <laughs> oh God, let's just eat breakfast. Nice. Anytime I put something in the fridge, I immediately feel like I bump up a level on the wealth chart. Like man before milk, man after milk. We are moving up every day. Feeling grateful for some milk right now, you know? You'd ask me yesterday, what's gonna bring tears to my eyes at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning? I wouldn't have said leche, but I will now. Absolutely, 2% reduced fat milk. That can bring tears to your eyes. Sorry, what? Something to say about how I poured that? Can't hear you. My mother just mailed me this. It's a turtleneck. I feel like Jason Bourne. Oh, I have a vest that would go great with this. I never saw him eat Jason Bourne. Not once. I saw him kill a man with a magazine. Didn't even see him bite into a croissant. And I know he was in France at least once. I wish he could just remember things. Can you imagine? That would ruin the whole movie though. You know, if he just had a phone and just had like all of his passwords and information. He just had a notes app. Can you imagine Jason Bourne, but 2021? He's like, oh no, it's fine. I've got everything backed up on iCloud. <laughs> I know exactly who I am. I haven't been up to the roof, but Inside Edition came to the apartment two days ago, and my interviewer, she said, oh no, they all have signs that say don't go up to the roof. It's just a warning. You should still go. So she encouraged me. So if anything happens, I blame Inside Edition. Like, I feel like that's pretty clear, you know? But if Inside Edition was here, they'd just be like, well, that looks more right to me. <laughs> How have I not known this was here? See, now it says no one up on the roof, but there's an entire bench. Who would have just built a bench to not go up here? Guys, just a 
few quick questions. Um, who do you work for? All these wires just make me think that New York's kind of been thrown together. You know, we just kind of layer it on top of one another. We could totally dance on these rooftops. Like a full-time musical. I could be here doing a shimmy. We could have another guy doing a backflip back there. Does anyone know how to do a backflip? I want to thank Inside Edition for giving me the courage to disobey the rules. It's now 1 p.m. I just decided that we should go outside. I just came up with a new game. It's called Rating Every Store That We Walk Past. At the Chase Bank. Okay. Kind of dark, kind of dingy. I see a pigeon. That could mean something. It has the corner lot, it's big, and it's the color blue, which is one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Next up, we've got the Namaste Bookstore. Or eight and a half out of 10, very vibey. Guys, I literally just walked two stores down. There's another Namaste. This one doesn't have a big statue, so I'm gonna go seven out of 10. What is that? Bulbs NYC. Look at all of these bulbs. Huh. Bulbs NYC, 10 out of 10. Easily the coolest one I've seen so far. Let's keep hunting. Maserati. Okay, one day, one day, one thing at a time. Small apartment, larger apartment, Maserati. I don't know what the golden crust is, but it looks like something out of SpongeBob. <laughs> a little bit of condensation on the windows. It looks like the restaurant Plankton might have started before he started the Chum Bucket. Like that was his first venture. And then he just kind of gave up on that one. Golden crust, two out of 10. Plus one point, three out of 10 for spelling crust with a K. We are now at one of my favorite places in New York, Washington Square Park. I heard it's actually bad luck if you walk underneath the arch, but I've done it so many times. I feel like we're past that now. I feel like now the more times I walk underneath it, the luckier I get. Guys, I found August Rush. Who needs parents when you got the music inside of you? <laughs> Guys! <laughs> oh, God. I think I lost him. Yeah, bruv. Hey. You're done. You are done. You talk about this, right? Let's make some ramen. Now we just wait for the water to boil. All right, guys, it's now 7 p.m. That's how long it took for the water to start boiling. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's only been 30 minutes, but I think we're ready to put the ramen in. <laughs> it looks so sad from here, but it's gonna be delicious. And now we just give it the mix. It's really getting cooked now. Just jab it a couple of times. That's what I like to do is give it a nice jab. Some salt. That's a true Italian dish. You could go anywhere, Positano, the Amalfi Coast, someone could serve you that up, and you'd be like, this guy knows what he's doing. Ramen is finished. It was honestly so good. It's the butter, the salt, and the pepper. Normally, I just eat it plain, like without any butter, or salt, or pepper. And at that point, you're just kind of tasting the ramen noodle itself, and just kind of tastes like wheat. Now we're going to start editing. We're going to be editing this video. It's 4 p.m. Let's see how much we can knock out by 6. Okay, it's now 7 p.m. Just to finish an Access Hollywood interview with Mario Lopez, the Mario Lopez, shirtless Mario Lopez. As far as how far I am in editing my video, the answer is not far. Should be a fun one though. What do we do with the rest of the night? Um, I guess keep editing. Maybe we'll go outside again, just to kind of be risky. It's currently 2.10 a.m. And I'm gonna go for a run. Just seems like the right time to go. I'm feeling a little wired right now. I feel like it's a good way to end it. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you on the next one. Adios. Guys, is this bad, all this pigeon slander that we're doing? Should we give them some more credit for like cleaning up the streets? Because they do do that. Let's give the pigeons time to redeem themselves. We'll give them time to talk. We'll set up a press conference. We'll bring everyone there. CNN, Fox News, Inside Edition. See if they have something to say. Can they explain themselves? Who do they work for? What's on their W-2? How do they file taxes? They don't even have opposable thumbs. I'm sure they have an accountant. So there is a pigeon accountant. There's a whole scheme set up and I feel like we need to get to the bottom of it. There's too many of them and they are too organized.